Welcome to my video of Wisdom in the Kitchen. In my videos, I will take you on a journey and show you how to choose your ingredients wisely. And I will show you how to create the most easy, healthy and delicious recipes. I grew up with an Ayurvedic lifestyle. So you will see some of the Ayurvedic keynotes in some of my videos. But as I also like to eat fish and poultry, my key message will always be choose your ingredients wisely. Today I'm going to share with you a very quick and healthy recipe. My main ingredients, avocados. I call this dish my avocado boat. It is a dish with half avocados and I'm going to make a filling with avocados and chickpeas, mushrooms, tomato puree, organic broth powder, spring onions, black pepper powder, olive oil, and I'm going to finish it off with fresh lime, ta-ta, and last but not least, creme fraiche. So the first thing you want to do is to create the filling. So as I told you before, I'm going to use the avocado itself for the filling, but also the chickpeas and the mushrooms. Um, together with the tomato puree, I'm going to bake it a little bit. The first thing you want to do is raise the temperature, medium high, and add some olive oil in the pan. Think around three tablespoons is enough. As the oil starts to spread in the pan, then you'll know that it's warming up, so then you can add the chickpeas. And you already hear it sizzling. That's a good sign, so we don't have to wait very long. You let it bake a little bit before you add the mushrooms. And at this point, you can raise the temperature. Then we are adding the tomato puree. And two big teaspoons as well. Okay, once the tomato puree is well divided over the chickpeas, you can add the mushrooms. Smells delicious already. So once the mushrooms are well mixed with the chickpeas and the tomato puree, you can add the organic broth powder to have a very creamy and good salty flavor. And after the organic broth powder, you're adding a little bit of black pepper powder. Not too much, unless you're feeling cold or you're having a cold, then you can add a little more than usual because it helps, of course, with throat pains or when you have a flu. Mix it well and let it stir on a medium to low temperature for about five more minutes. So once the mixture is ready, we're going to start with the avocados. And this is always a challenge because I always make a mess, but now we're filming, so I have to do it a little better now. I saw on YouTube once a trick to uh, peel an avocado the good way by using a spoon. Let's see if I can do this. If I can do this, then everyone can do this. That's amazing. It works. So you need to cut the avocado in half and then you use a tablespoon to pop out the avocado. But that's not all because 
we still have to chop it up a little bit. So actually it's still a challenge, but anyhow, we're almost there. And please don't throw away the shell because we're using this as the salad bowl. And now we need to cut it, but I'm just going to use a knife and a fork to do that because I don't want to use my hands because then it's going to be a avocado puree and I don't want that. And this you can throw away. So I chopped it up into these nice big chunks, not too small, it has to be like this. Because if you cut it into these small chunks, then it will become a puree when you mix it with the chickpeas and the mushrooms. And now we're going to use the chickpea and mushroom mixture and add this to the big chunks of avocado. You can add as much as you prefer. There are no rules for this and it's all very healthy. So don't worry, just be happy and eat well. While you're mixing it, make sure that you mix it from the corners of the bowl so that you won't ruin the big chunks of avocado. So you have to be very careful while mixing this. Maybe you can even use a smaller spoon. I'm using a tablespoon, maybe you can use a teaspoon. We're ready to serve it into our avocado shell balls. it off with a little bit of fresh lime just sprinkle it on top of your avocado boats adding a little bit of creme fraiche if you like this if you prefer to have a little creamy topping you can use creme fraiche as I do the spring onions and what I really enjoy as an extra flavor with this recipe is fresh coriander. It's nice for decoration but it also adds a little more flavor to this recipe because it's kind of spicy and a little creamy, I think, to my opinion. It really finishes off all the flavors that you have within this avocado boat. So, ready to eat! It took me about 10 to maybe 12 minutes to create this recipe. It's really easy when you have visitors coming over who are veg. Because I'm not using any meat or fish. But you can also replace the chickpeas, for example, with chicken or with shrimps, anything that you prefer, anything that you like. Well, I'm going to enjoy this with my two best friends who are standing in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> so, bon appetit! Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my video channel. When you make this recipe, please don't forget to let me know through the comments below what you think of it. Mmm.